The car under wraps here was built 116 years ago, but was light years ahead of its time. On January 31st, Porsche chairman Wolfgang Porsche unveiled a true automotive sensation. He says we knew Ferdinand Porsche had presented a loner Porsche with wheel hub motors at the World Exhibition in Paris in 1900. But no one knew he'd already created an electric carriage in 1898. Ferdinand Porsche created the electric model known as the Eger Loner C2 Phaeton when he was just 23. The young automaker's creation is considered groundbreaking today. The pioneering electric car had an astonishing range of 80 kilometers and a top speed of 35 kilometers an hour, a breakneck pace in its day. That's why, yeah. Jürgen Bart says Ferdinand Porsche was a genius, so he's not surprised the car showed up here. Walter Röhr, former race driver, says he's always thought Ferdinand Porsche was a genius. But this just confirms it. He marvels at the engineer's foresight and thinks it's incredible that the car has a range of 80 kilometers on a par with today's electric cars. This comedian says he knew carriages like this existed, but that they'd come equipped with such a high-tech motor was news to him. This actor wonders if we've been duped all these years, and automakers could have brought electric cars to market decades ago, but he thinks it's fabulous that something like this existed way back then. Ferdinand Porsche gave the key components of his cars a code. That's how the first Porsche got its unofficial name, the P1. But after finding the car in a shed in Austria, Wolfgang Porsche had to convince others of its importance. Not everyone in the family was thrilled and thought we have to keep hold of it, he admits. Some said it's very nice, but it's hardly a modern car. But in the end, Wolfgang Porsche got his way and acquired ownership of the first vehicle his grandfather built. Now it's on display for all to see at the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart. Achim Steiskel says the museum is celebrating its fifth anniversary today, and this is the best present ever. It's sensational that they can unveil it to the public here, a special moment. To give the new find the attention it deserves, the museum's permanent collection has been rearranged to make the P1 the star of the show. Between race cars and vehicles, people wouldn't normally associate with Porsche, the P1 points the way towards the future of mobility. At the Porsche Museum, visitors also get to see cars that never went into production. With some, you can see why. With others, you think, what a shame. This is one of the things that makes the museum so successful, as Dieter Landberger tells us. He says at the start they hoped for 250,000 visitors a year. Now they average 400,000, which they're very happy about. To draw the crowds, they change exhibits regularly and host four special exhibitions a year. They want the museum to be lively and always offer something new. And he says the museum has become a top address for cultural events in Stuttgart. The Porsche Museum is one of the most popular museums in Stuttgart. And with the arrival of the P1, it's likely to attract even more visitors.